Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are looking at TED Ed. In our previous video we explored the different options available on the TED Ed website and in this video we're going to be looking particularly at how to create our own lesson. Now if you don't know how to get to TED Ed I will put a link in the description of the video but if you just search on Google for TED Ed you'll see the link there for TED Ed so you can go straight to them. I've already logged on so it's, you need to log on if you're going to create your lesson so you create an account if you don't have one and you can see as you got your library you got your lessons you got all your details there but I haven't made any lessons so let's go create our first lesson so I'm going to come here to create you can also do a collection which is basically a group of lessons that are collected together so you first need to accumulate a couple of lessons before you go into the collection part but let's do a lesson so let's click on a lesson your lessons are going to be based around a particular video so that video will do the educational the teaching part so you can search for a video if you already know the video URL then you can just type in the URL there that's the, the YouTube address and it doesn't have to be a TED Ed video it can be a, another video from another resource I want to do a lesson on hard drives for computers so let's do hard drives and let's see what options are available for me so we've got a whole bunch of videos here and you'll notice that they're not all videos from TED Ed there's one by TED Ed, but these are from other YouTubers that have created videos so you can do a video on something else oh, I really like this video on hard drives so I'm going to base it off of this five minute little video yeah so I'm selecting the hard drive video and there are the details I'm going to click on continue now we've come to the actual design of our lesson so we're going to give it a nice little title over there so that's where you can type in so you can use the title of the video or you can add your own title so I've went and changed the lesson title to something that I want to use and then you can add little features over here so let's look at the different features now the let's begin this is where you give an introduction to your lesson as they say they say introduce your lesson with a few sentences this is what the students are going to see right at the top that's always nice you can edit the details in your introduction you've got bold online you've got basic editing tools here you can make it look a little bit more formatted so I went and added some you see you got limited number of characters but still more than enough to type lots of information if you want but it's basic introduction you can highlight certain words so let's go highlight that particular word and underline it and then that one we also want to highlight and underline so let's save that so there we go so it's added the let's begin so our graph is being saved each time you do a section it's automatically saving it on the website so there's no need to click save every single time so let's go have a look at the think the think section is where we can add some multiple choice questions or some open answer questions so let's click on the multiple choice option so here you can put your question and here you can see your different options up to a b c d if you want to add an extra answer you can so i'm going to quickly put in one or two quick questions so I added a question quickly and there's the little mark to indicate which is the correct answer now. In this case, obviously that's not the correct answer. It's C. So I'm going to click on the C option so that the multiple choice quiz knows which of these four options is the correct option. You can also add a video hint. So you can go to the particular part of the video you can actually give a particular area where you say, go rewatch this part if you need a hint. So that's also quite a nice little feature for that. So let's click on save. So we're going to add another question. And let's do an open answer question. So I went ahead and added a couple more questions. I added some open-ended questions and you can always move them around if you want. And so you can also click on the particular questions and edit them if you want. If I click on a question, you can then go edit them. So those are all available to you. So there we go. So there's my thinking questions dig deeper is when you can add supplementary info so you've got a lot more characters to use this is where you can add links to other videos or you want links to documents or you want to have some content here this is where you can really use this to create some nice little notes if you've got for example tables or things like that that you want to display and you can't get the layout you can also create it in for example a word document and create an image of it and you can use the images over here to display it or if you want to display diagrams and that to so use that for your supplementary info so I've gone ahead and just added some details. I added a couple of images so you can use that to add some images. Remember to source your images if you're using images from somewhere. And then I added some more resources and some links. If you're going to add a link you can use that option over there to show a link to another website. So I've done a couple of things. You can add a lot more. As I said I've done very little here but there's still lots of space available. So I'm going to save that and there you can see my lovely little notes. Then we can add discuss where we can add some more discussion options. So you can write a question or a particular comment maybe even or like a reference to something and you can add some extra information over there and we can save it and I've added two discussions and what that means is in the lesson they'll be able to respond and make comments to those particular topics and then on the add finally you can have some closing thoughts of your lesson. 
So I've just added a little simple little stuff. It's not a great lesson. I've just added some features that you can at least get an idea of how it all looks. So let's go before we publish it. Let's go to the more options so we can preview the lesson. So let's have a look at what the lesson looks like. So this is what our lesson would look like. So let's see who it's created by. You can see the video. There's the introduction. And then we can click on the think. There's our multiple choice and we can go through the different questions and so on. We can dig deeper. So there's my little details of the lesson where you can go to the different links and we can go to the discussion and there are our discussion questions and people can view the discussion. They can like a particular comment. They can respond if they want to and so on. So they can do, they can even start their own discussion if they wanted to. And finally is the last bit. So that's what our lesson looks like. So let's go back to the editing option. And we can view the summary. That's viewing the summary of, of what the details are of the lesson. So there's the view summary. We can then go and adjust the settings. Here's where we can set if this lesson is customizable. In other words, other people can take our lesson and change it if they want to. And we can also specify if the students need to have a TED-Ed account. If they don't have a TED-Ed account, then they'll just give in a random name when they when they go to the actual lesson. So at least their details will be there and they can just use their name. That's if you don't want them to require to use their TED-Ed account. But if they do, it's quite nice because then it'll keep track of who said what. So you can specify your settings over here. And you can obviously delete the lesson if you don't want to use it or get help. So I think we're done. So let's go publish it and see what it looks like. So we're going to publish it. So now it is officially published. So now when it's published, we can further change those settings about if the students required to log on. And this is the key part here. We want to share our lesson. So this is how we're going to get the lesson to our students. So we can either copy the link. That's one way of doing it so that it's only your students can get the lesson. Or you can put email addresses here and it'll be sent to them. Or you can share it on your various social media platforms. So you can use those different options order to be able to send it to your students. I like using the link and putting, giving the link to the students and then you can send that. So that's how you would share your lesson. And if you want to go back to your particular lessons, you can always come back here to your lessons and you can see all your different lessons and you can go to your published ones and there is your lesson. If you want to go edit it, if you want to find the link again, you can always share it and so on. And you can review student work. So once students are doing it, then you can see what they have done if they've done the actual lesson. So at the moment, no students have done the lesson, but as they do the lesson, you can actually see the details of what they've done. So any lessons that you've done, the drafts and all that will all be over here. So you can play around with all your different lessons. So have a go at TEDx, go create an account, go create some lessons, go see if it's a useful resource for you. And hopefully you can create some lovely lessons online. For other teacher tips that can help you in the classroom, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button and make sure to share us with your fellow teachers. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.